So today we're going to do a great tasting recipe that I've done many times and we are going to cook walleye strips. Go ahead and bring it over there. These are all boneless mud veins cut out beautiful walleye strips. Uh, my favorite batter here. I'm not going to say no names yet because I'm going to try to reach out them for them for a sponsor, but that's an awesome batter. And what we're going to do is we're going to take three eggs. Okay, I'm going to show you how we do this. You just crack the egg. I'm going to show you how to do this. Just crack the egg. Use the egg separator here. Shake it. Let's throw that right in there. Just shake it. Get that. This stuff right here is what will keep your fish from becoming crispy. You just want the yolk in there. So we're going to go ahead and throw that right in the fish. And we're going to repeat that again. Crack it. Put it right in there. A lot of people will say, ah, you're wrong on this. Well, my fish always comes out good. Put that egg yolk right in there. Do it again. This stuff will keep your fish from becoming crispy. And I seen I dropped an eggshell in there. Or two. So I'm just going to drain this. Pop the yolk. And drain it through. So I don't want no eggshell in my fish and then that can be washed up let me wash my hands real quick so then what you're going to do is you're going to take some milk dump it right in there where you put those well, a little more than that where you put those egg yolks then you're just going to do this by hand and yes it gets messy if you're scared to get messy, don't do not do this recipe, but this gets messy. Put a little all turn. And these have been washed off three times and dried, these, these uh, walleye strips here. So um, I'm going to actually put that on this side of this. I got a process I do here, but as you can see, it'll turn that nice and yellow. It's just milk and egg yolk. Get it all mixed up in there. And we're going to let this set for five minutes in here. And then we're going to start cooking. I'm going to get the grease ready and, and uh, we'll start cooking. See you in five minutes. So we got the grease heating up. And here's a little trick of the pros. Get a little bit of water on your hand. Flick it in there. And when it starts popping, wait a few seconds. And it'll be right at the right temperature to drop your fish in. So we'll see you at that process. So as you can see, it's starting to bubble and pop here. So real soon we'll be dropping the walleye strips into the batter and into there. All right, so this is still popping a little bit. You'll hear it, maybe. Yeah, you can still hear it a little bit, but it's right about time to put it in. So you're just gonna take your fish out of this wash I made up here, roll it in the batter, and drop it in. And in two minutes, or till she starts floating. When it floats, it's done. Which I always roll them over one time for at least 30 seconds on the other side, even though they're fully. You can go ahead and bring it up and show them. They are fully submerged. When they float, they're done, but I always roll them one time for 30 seconds. But typically two minutes, they're done. And uh, I'll keep this going. I'll fill this up, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. Frying up beautifully. Looking good. As you can see, it's starting to float. I'm going to flip these over another 30 seconds and these will be done. So there's a the finished product. Nice and crispy and flaky. As you can see, nice white flaky meat. Oh my gosh, is it excellent. Look at that. Just flaky. Flakes right off. Yum.